Hello, welcome back to my channel if you are an oldie but goldie. If you are new, my name is Louise Pentland and I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle and today I'm going to be getting us into the autumn spirit. The best kind there is. So we are in September now, the most glorious of months. There's something about September that makes me feel amazing. I feel like I've got renewed energy, renewed motivation. Um, I still, in my mind, work to the academic calendar and that's not because I have children in school, it's I've always worked to that like mindset of September is the start of new things and it's the start of cozier jumpers and dark red lipstick and cozy evenings oh I just love it you know I'm a cozy person so this time of year really tickles my pickle and floats my boat and something I particularly like about this time of year is the fashion I do like summer fashion because it's bright and fun but autumn fashion it thrills me no end and something that I love doing now that I am a mother is picking clothes for my children. Pearl is one and so I just pick what I think looks nice on her. I obviously also cater for practicality because she's often running around and stuff like that so I try and pick things that are super comfy for her. And Darcy is eight and people keep telling me oh soon she's not going to wear what you buy us, that she's going to have her own taste and style but she seems to really love what I buy her so for now I'm still picking the things I really love and I'm like, do you like this? And she's like, yeah, I love it. I'm like, great. Um, so I thought I would show you what I have picked for their autumn winter wardrobes. I did go through their wardrobes first and see what they already had. Now Darcy already has a fair bit of stuff that still fits her from last year. So she has some black jeans that fit, um, lots of t-shirts that she wore in the summer. Obviously she's just gonna wear now as well, but with like cardigans and jumpers. Um, Pearly though, she is growing fast. So everything that she had from last winter just doesn't fit. There's nothing that fits. So we had to kind of pick out lots of new bits. Um, I do look in charity shops for them. I just wonder if anyone's got anything to say on this. So everyone says, you should look in charity shops for children's clothes. I'm like, yeah, great idea. Because when Darcy was little, I used to find, not loads, but quite a bit of stuff in charity shops for her good condition, nice things. And so whenever I go past one, which is a lot, because you know I'm always visiting little cute towns and stuff, I look in and the children's section is always utterly dire. Um, and I'm not saying it's stuff that I don't like, it's just there's barely anything there. And I'm wondering, is that because people are selling things now? Uh, like the Facebook selling groups and stuff, or I don't know. And I feel a bit weird about the Facebook selling groups. I used to have a friend that used to put things on there, and she used to say smoke-free, pet-free household, but she smoked and had cats. So I was like, oh, now I feel like I've lost trust in those sellers. I don't know. Shouldn't put everyone in the same bracket, I know, but... Let me know your thoughts on that kind of thing. Something I do think is really great for children's um, clothes is the NCT Nearly New Sale. I think that's just a UK thing, uh, but if you're part of the NCT, um, they have a lot of like tabletop sales and I get so much good stuff from there. Um, it's always great co quality, there's always a lot, but again, um, Darcy is sized out of that, so it's just for pearly. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts on that because I am always looking for other ways to shop I've joined Depop, but I'm yet to find anything that I like that. I joined that for me, but I haven't seen anything. Where am I going wrong, guys? I really want to like get on board with this, but I'm really struggling. Um, so I thought I'd show you today what I've bought because it's been such a long time since I've bought a big lot of stuff altogether. You might note that I haven't done a haul on this channel since I looked and it was November, early November 2018. And that's not because I haven't been shopping, but I just haven't been buying a lot all in one go, I've just been picking what we need as we need it, trying to make better choices, trying to use less and reuse what we've got, but we've got to the point in the wardrobe where we have reused as much as we can, Pearl's completely out of everything and Darcy uh, needed a few things to supplement, so let's have a look at what we picked up. So I'm just going to do Darcy and Pearl stuff all mixed in together, Darcy is eight and Pearl is one, um, the first shop I'm going to show you from is Zara. And the first thing I'm going to show you is actually one of my favourites. This, um, if you know my style, you'll know this is probably not my normal style, but Darcy absolutely loved them. And I was like, you know, I think I love them too. So we're going to roll with it. It's these. So I bought her these little boots, little biker boots. They have the zip that goes at the side so she doesn't have to mess around with the laces and the straps. And they have these really lovely little studs with sparkly diamantes on. 
Um, I bought these for her in a size 12 and a half and they were 39.99, which I think is the most extensive thing we bought all day. Um, but I think she'll get a lot of wear out of these and hopefully they will do her for the entire season and potentially a little bit last year because her feet don't grow very quickly. So those are them. If you know Darcy, you will know she is a fan of a tutu, any kind of tutu she absolutely loves. We have a great big pink one that we've had for about three years and she absolutely loves it. Any chance she can wear it, she will. So I bought her this little black one, um, which would be perfect for party season. It's kind of tiered in one, two, three, four, five, five levels. Um, I thought it'd be really cute with tights. She could wear bright colored tights or black tights. I also thought it would look really cute with the boots and she can wear her t-shirts tucked in or jumpers over the top. Just thought this would be super versatile because she could wear it casually or it'd be great in the lead up for Christmas when you have like Christmas discos and carol concerts and all kinds of things. A little party skirt, it's got a little um, sparkly elastic waist and when I showed her it she was like oh mummy, <laughs> she really liked it so I'm glad that's a winner bought myself a giant bow. I also bought this headband whilst I was in there. Thought that would look good for when I do like half up, half down. Um, whoops, mummy, mummy treated herself. So next up we have this really, really super soft, super cozy hoodie. Darcy really likes hoodies because she says that they're teenagery. I think she feels like she's a bit cool in a hoodie. So I bought her this and it suits both of us because it's got the pink and sparkles for me. She really likes it as well because she feels teenagery and that's apparently the height of sophistication when you're eight. Um, I like that it's those sort of ice creamy colours. Feels very, very, very soft. I hope it washes well. I've had a couple of problems with Zara in the past where I've bought her some jeans with like sparkly bits stuck onto the side and then I put them in the wash and all the sparkly bits fell off. But these seem to be like sewed on instead of glued on so just watch out for that if you're shopping in there and then for pearly in zara i picked up these little boots darcy used to have a pair just like this i'm gonna see if i can find any pictures of her wearing them but i saw them and i was like oh they're like darcy's little boots they're just little navy painted boots with a stretchy bit at the side and a bit of detailing on the front and they're just freaking adorable and I bought those in a size 22. And then for her to dress up or down for any occasion, I bought Pearly this little dress. I thought it looked a little bit like Chanel-esque. I just thought it was really sweet and she could wear that with little cream or white or black tights and even the boots. I know they're navy and you shouldn't mix black and navy but I don't think anyone's going to hold it against her. Um, and I thought that would be really sweet for day to day or even for parties. Um, or little little special occasions that she has um, and I thought the fabric was a nice kind of durable fabric. The criteria that I have when I shop for children's clothes is will I have to iron this um, and this doesn't feel like an irony one this feels like maybe you'd go over it once or twice but you know you get some fabrics that as soon as you've washed them they crumple up and like it's just hard work. No don't want any of those fabrics thank you very much we'll go for this kind of durable thick, easy fabric, thank you. Next up we are on to Gap, and you might see a bit of a theme in these. So Darcy chose these leggings herself. I probably wouldn't have picked them, but she really liked them, and I thought we'd get a lot of wear out of them. They're these gray leggings with the um, sparkly sequins down the sides, and they're the ones that you can brush up or down, and when you brush them up, they go silver, and when you brush them down, they're kind of multicolored mermaidy. Um, she could wear these with the hoodie that I bought as well. So I know they'll go. We've got lots of other like just plain t-shirts um, and these will be great for her for play dates and you know just being being a kid um, and she absolutely loves these. I am Denard but she loves them. So the next few bits are all for pearly and I'll start off with jeans. I bought these in size two, like for a two year old because Pearl will be two in January and she's pretty tall um, and I thought what we'll do is I can just roll these up and then they'll just last a bit longer. They feel super durable. She's not crawling anymore, she's walking, but she does crawl around. She's sat on the floor a lot, she's playing a lot. So I thought these would be great and they've got an elasticated waist. If, if I'm honest, I'm jealous. These, I want them to make these for me. Thank you very much. 
I also bought her navy leggings because you can never have enough navy leggings um, and these will just go with absolutely everything with pinks with leopard prints which I'm going to show you in a minute with white um, lots of her stuff will go with these oh bought my one-year-old some cheeky leopard print leggings didn't I these are sensational. I know that these will be divisive. Some people will be being sick in their mouths right now and some will be like, your toddler is gonna look absolutely amazing with her little patent boots. Oh hi, yes, she's going to look fantastic. So I bought her those and to go with them, I bought this little top um, with a cat face on. We're cat people um, and it's got the little nod to the leopard print in the ears which is sparkly and sparkly whiskers i just thought with her little like strawberry blonde ponytail oh my god my heart just melted i also picked her up a cream turtleneck this will just go with so many things um it will go with the jeans it will go with those little leopard print leggings with the navy uh, so i thought that was a good little staple and then mommy couldn't resist oh hi <laughs> It's a tiny little leopard print top with a peplum hem um, so she could wear that with any of those things uh, with the jeans or with the navy. I probably wouldn't put it with the navy leggings as well but I wouldn't judge you if you do. Um, you do you. I just thought that that was a fun piece. Next up it's next. See what I did there? Oh, next up it's next. Ah, see what I did there? I did a good one. I did a good one. Um, this is the store that I lucked out in and found the most uh, the most pieces that I thought would be lovely. Um, so first off we have some school shoes for Darcy. We went into Clark's because usually I buy all of her school shoes for Clark's. I buy them fresh in September and see how long they last and then go from there. Um, but it was absolutely rammed. It was just chock-a-block and I just thought no i'm not going in here with a toddler and an eight-year-old on a busy saturday so we popped down to next and they have these which are just lovely painted with a velcro strap for ease um they've got a little padded bit at the back so they'll be comfy for her um she walked around in them a lot and she said they felt nice so there we are new school shoes 22 pounds happy with those so a couple of bits for doodles a pair of tights i'm always looking for children's tights um, I feel like they're the things that we go through the most, tights and socks, like where do they go? I, I don't know, I think the washing machine eats them. Um, but for £5 we got a pack of this like dusky pink cable knit tight, which I thought was lovely. And then I picked her up two dresses, um, not dresses, what, what do we... Uh, uh, tags are stuck, it's like they're mating. Right, here we are. Two pinafore dresses for doodles. I picked up a black denim one, um, which I thought would go with these tights and those boots. She could put any top under this. She's got loads of tops from last year, um, so we could make that work. She could even put the hoodie under it, I suppose, if she wanted to, if it was a cold day. Um, but yeah, cute little mini um, pinafore with pockets. Thought this would do her well. And also it's got the adjustable strap, so that will last a long old time. And then also I bought this berry coloured um, corduroy pinafore for £14, pretty much in the same style as that one. Um, and again, with the boots, with tights, probably not with this colour. Hmm, although maybe actually. Um, and she's got lots that she could make an outfit out of that with. Oh, that's so cosy soft. That feels real nice. I just pulled out all of Pearl's bits and saw that I also bought Darcy some grey tights. Thought they were Pearl's, but they are Darcy's. Okay, Pearl has these bottle green kind of, um, are they bottle green? In this light they look really navy. In the shop they looked bottle green, but she has some little cable knit tights. We've got a thing for cable knit, because I also bought this little cable knit polo neck. I actually bought two of these, because I think these are going to be a bit of a staple over the winter. These just go with so many things. You can tuck them into jeans, or put them with leggings, or skirts, or little dungarees. Um, so I picked up two of these because I just thought they were lovely and soft um, and really pretty. Something that could potentially go with the little cable knit um, polo neck tops. <laughs> Did your heart just burst a tiny bit at the thought of little Pearly in her little tartan skirt? It's come with some tights as well. It's got a little rose gold buckle detail. Um, it's got a bit of stretch in it as well. And that with her little tights and her little top and her little boots oh my gosh i'm gonna have to do like a tiny photo shoot with them because 
honestly I feel almost like so emotional at how cute they will look I used to do so many little shoots with Darcy in her little outfits um it's so much harder with Pearl. Pearl is a wriggler, she doesn't stand still, it's really hard to get a photo of Pearl. Whereas Darcy, you just pick her up and stand her, someone goes, smile for mummy. And she'd just stand there for ages, smiling. Uh, if you've got any tips for how to get a toddler that doesn't want to stand still, it's not like she doesn't like having a photo taken, it's just, she doesn't even know you're trying to do it. She just won't stand still or sit still, but I'm going to do my best because some of these clothes are just, they're just too much, they're too adorable. Leggings. Babies need leggings. Basically Pearl kind of lives in them. These are pink but what I really liked is they had a little dinosaur on them and Cousin Dexter loves dinosaurs um, so I thought he would get a little kick out of those. They played together a lot plus I figured you know you always need pink leggings so I picked those up. Very similar to Darcy's berry toned dress I picked up this green bottle green corduroy dress and what i hope is that they'll wear them at the same time and i can get a really nice picture of them both together um so i picked this up for pearly this could work with so many things with um the cream top the pink tops um maybe just a baby grove like long sleeve vest underneath this um so i thought that was really nice and then last but by no means least i picked up this little black dungaree set for pearly it says one and a half years to two years but this seems really really big to me um, but we'll see how she goes it might not be too big plus we can always roll the bottoms up it's got a little bit of frill detail at the top it's got pockets why do we have pockets for babies what are they going to put in there like their tiny tiny cell phones um it's got back pockets as well and it just feels really durable so i thought that that would be a really good piece and she would get a lot of wear out of that Righto, I hope that you enjoyed that and it's got you in the mood for autumn. I definitely don't think that you need to go and buy an entire new wardrobe every autumn, winter, spring, summer for your children. But if you are getting to that point where you've gone through everything in the wardrobe and you are needing a few bits, maybe that gave you a bit of inspiration for what's out there and how you could put all different things together. Do let me know what videos you would like to see next on my channel. I feel really motivated at the moment, so let me know what you would like and I would like to make that for you don't forget to check out my instagram it is linked below and i will see you all soon thanks for watching bye